Right now, you're watching me, watching me, on a screen, on a screen. Think about that one for a second. My name's Cody Davies, and welcome to Undertale. In the last exciting episode, a giant robot burst out of this wall, uh, which apparently the space behind the wall is only a few feet wide, so I assume the robot was just sitting here the whole time, like, oh, when's, when's Cody gonna come over so that I can make my group big grand entrance and burst out of the wall? But it all went well for him. I'm glad his debut performance, um, you know, went well. He gave us a death quiz. It was more like an almost death quiz because he didn't kill us, but he nearly did. Uh, we also talked a bit to Alphys, who is the owner of uh, owner of this messy desk and computer, as well as the one who has been watching us throughout the game with this video feed of our location. Alphys is a very special kind of creature, and I don't mean a giant talking lizard in a lab coat. Uh, I mean the other kind of special creature, a nerd. You can see here, uh, well, look, so this says it's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. I'm pretty sure that's a figurine of a pony, I'm pretty sure that's just a My Little Pony. And this says it's a beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears, but that looks to me suspiciously like a figurine of Jasper from Steven Universe. So maybe, maybe this alpha is in fact just Luke Jim. So let's explore a bit more around the lab, uh, find out what this alpha uh, has been up to. It's a bathroom sign. At first I thought that was a witch, because uh, it looked like a witch's hat and a broomstick, but then I realized, no, that's just alpha. That's just the secret. It's the cigarette of alpha. It's the silhouette of alpha, not the cigarette of alpha. I hope alpha doesn't smoke. It's bad for you. So let's just moonwalk through uh, alpha's laboratory, finding uh, a few more nerderies amongst amongst her belongings. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Oh, and if we look over here we find more evidence of anime nerdery. Uh, a girl with cat ears making one of those anime peace signs uh, while hearts come out of her eyes as she winks, that's... If she had a big teardrop, um, that would be the most anime poster I've ever seen. So, yeah, uh, Alpha is obviously a big old nerd. Um, her work, say, work table seems dusty, probably because instead of doing her important research work, what she is doing, in fact, is watching someone else all the time on a big screen instead of doing their work. Does that remind you of anyone, viewer? Do you know anyone who currently is watching someone else on a big screen instead of doing their work? I'm talking about you, by the way, viewer. I'm talking about you. Alphys is just like the viewer right here. Um, so, I already looked at this one table. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. I'm not going to get any more of an explanation than that. Why the green goop in here turns into the pink goop here, that's fine. That's fine, do what you want machine that looks like it has eyes and arms. Uh, and a tail and hair and is celebrating. That, that looks like a humanoid machine to you guys too, doesn't it? I'm not the only one seeing that. All these books are labelled human history. Alright, let's find out a bit more about human history. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. But it seems accurate to me. Everyone knows that's exactly what happens when a robot is late to school. So, some more human history. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. So, a little while ago, Undyne mentioned that Alpha's went on about how humans were good based on based on our research into human history. We've just found out that rather than human history, what Alphys has in fact been studying is anime. It says words like comic books and cartoons, but we know it's anime because scantily clad chefs that fling energy pancakes at each other is it's so anime, it's, it's so anime it's going to become a catchphrase this episode because I keep, I'm going to keep going, that's so anime. Uh, so let's see what's going on here. You look inside a book, it's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. That's so anime. 
And the final one, scientific books. They seem very dusty. Yeah, well that's because Alpha's isn't doing any work. Alpha's instead of instead watching me on a big screen like like the viewers. So let's head on a little bit further. Um, I just have to mention here that I had to re-record this part because there were some black bars on screen that I couldn't get rid of. Um, but I did save the part um, where a few little cutscenes happen here which were lost because I saved over it. But uh, it's basically a couple of text messages from, from Alphas. Here they are. Alphas updated status. Oh, Alphas upgraded our phone to be able to send text messages by the way. Just realized didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Yeah, about that. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a good idea. You should definitely do that. You should definitely... Hey, you know what would be fun? Let's call Papyrus. Hotland, huh? I know it like the back of my hand. Which, since I'm always wearing gloves, I don't know anything about. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. So yeah, let's hope... Alphas at no point watches that video of us fighting Undyne. Let's just tell Alphas that Undyne went to a happier place. She's having a vacation in the country or something. Alright, listen to the music here. I wanted to, uh, to bring up something because a couple of people have asked, how's your channel doing? Um, and I just wanted to give a couple of quick updates. Here's a graph. That's the views for this channel at the moment. Um, that the last month is that little uh, circled bit. It's not bad, uh, but it's still, you know, it's still a ways to go. But look at this. I'm really proud of this. Look at the comments. The comments are larger. We're getting more comments than we were back when. When there were, uh, you know, 10, 15 times as many people watching the video so thank you to everyone who's been commenting uh, I've, there's been a lot of interaction I've been going to viewers channels and everything to talk to them it's been really great the rare and threatening double Davis so uh, another pyro so uh, another side effect of, uh, of me having to re-record this is the enemies are coming in pairs at this point uh, usually uh, the way this game seems to work is that it introduces an enemy one at a time and then once it's introduced the enemies it starts throwing the enemies at you in pairs um, but uh, in in this case since I had to re-record this episode so let's heat the let's crank up the thermostat so they both seem to react to this and whoa whoa they're still throwing bombs at me um, which is they're very, they're very bombastic. Pyro wants more heat. All right, let's heat it up some more. I am happy to continue to crank up the thermostat. Uh, whoa, there's a Pyro. You're the bomb. <laughs> Everyone love my joke. All right, so we earned. I think that says 90 gold, but it's hard to tell because it's so sweltering in the heat. Uh, so yeah, thanks everyone who's been making comments, um, it's really a big deal to me, like, seeing, like, the, the last videos, the last couple of Undertale videos, um, had a lot, of, it was like 60 views and 30 comments, um, which, that's just amazing, like, that the, you don't usually get that kind of, uh, of reception level so thanks to everyone I've been talking to either on their channel I went to visit a few people's channels because there's an engagement list that shows it updates daily and it shows me who has been who's been who's been uh, liking commenting and stuff and it ranks it um, and then I've been going to a bunch of people's channels leaving little messages on their wall watching their videos I've been trying to give back um, so comment and let me know if uh, you were one of those people who I, I talked to uh, and start getting involved in the comments on this video um, because we've been having a lot of fun. We're going to end the episode. Oh, oh my god, I had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh my god, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to call. 
Alright, you, you do that, Alphys. I'm going to end the episode here, but first... I'm going to let you listen to the music for like the last 30 seconds of this video. Because it's really cool music.